Daddy, I think we need to get up. I gotta work on the camp for today. Do you wanna... Do you wanna work on the camper with me? We're gonna put on the roof. And then we're gonna go on a walk. Do you wanna go on a walk? on our little morning walk but today is a big day for our fam it's been two long months of us manually taking the pop-up camper lid on and off and that ends today so I think we are both very excited and I'm gonna get hit by a car Letty, you excited? Welcome to Lovers Aboard Odessa. I'm Lauren and that's Alexi. And we recently bought a 71 year old vintage wooden yacht. Our plan for the next couple of years is to do a massive restoration and eventually call her home. And while we don't know everything there is to know, and we certainly plan on learning so much, we do know how insanely possible it is to live the life you've always imagined. We're just lovers with a dream, here to inspire you not to give up on yours. To see more of this adventure, follow us on Instagram at Lovers of Bordadessa. And don't forget, as always, to like, subscribe, and tell us what you think in the comments. Let's dive in. Don't get it out of the. It, it almost feels like a half seat. How are you gonna get it back in without being able to see down there? Oh wait, hold on. I could just put it here and then go inside, and while I'm pushing it in, I'll put some more. I use a, a very good quality general purpose grease. Um, you can find a link in the description if you want to use the same one. I chose this one because it um, provides a lot of protection against the weather. It's fully waterproof and it also applies a, a good protection against rust. I decided not to replace the old springs. They were straight. Uh, they were just a little bit rusty. 
uh, the most important part was that they were nice and straight so I cleaned them up with some rust remover and installed them and they were ready to go. That's dirty. <laughs> Another thing to note is that this is a two-man job, so I was happy to see Lauren come to the rescue. Again, I'm applying a lot of grease on the rod and also while I was pushing the rod into the slot, I applied more grease there as well. After installing all four springs, it was time to move on to the lifting arms. I also included a link in the description to a PDF file that contains a step-by-step -step guide on how to replace and repair the lift system. Uh, keep in mind that this uh, guide only applies to uh, Jayco four-stage lift systems. After a few days, uh, I felt confident enough to move on to the next step, which was installing the roof and finally fully test the system under its own weight and load. Once the top was secured to the lifting arms, I leveled the trailer and crawled inside to do a final check on the system. I did find a few areas, especially uh, two pulleys that were pretty much coming off the walls. So I had to uh, support the roof again and then um, move those pulleys a little up. If you notice um, here, uh, you can see that it's coming off the wall. Uh, the wood behind the panel was a little soft, so I raised it up a few inches and put a piece of wood uh, in there to support it.
Next time on Lovers Aboard Odessa.